Yo, what's going on? It's Pixel back, and today we're gonna bring you back on crypto. Um, I actually have little notes here to kind of make sure I cover the things that I want to talk about here and want to actually discuss because there's a huge difference that I'm seeing people get sucked into right now of crypto where you're seeing these uh, cryptocurrency prices go up and boost and obviously people are looking at the other way to make a lot of money and that being you buying the coins that are worth you know 30 cents 10 cents a couple cents that are under a dollar that you think you can make the most money back on or that you think is going to explode and make you a millionaire so basically i want to do the difference between what i consider a cryptocurrency and a crypto platform basically if it's a cryptocurrency something like bitcoin or litecoin something where it has monetary you know usage where you're going to be sending it to people to buy stuff or you know trading it for other things or using it as a tool to accept payments or you know send payments it's something universal um, it's global you can do you can send it wherever you want whenever you want and it is decentralized so that is the biggest thing with cryptocurrencies that is that money like tech advanced in money and financial areas and stuff like that. So I guess just switch switch spots real quick because I feel like it was a little dark over there. The light was kind of behind me, but I didn't want to go that way, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. But back to what I was talking about, you know, cryptocurrency and crypto platforms. So, you know, the currency is the thing everyone is excited about right now. The thing making moves, recovering back to its market that it was at before with Bitcoin at 20K, Litecoin pushing 400, you know, those types of, I don't like milestones and people are getting excited about it reaching there. And typically you see them looking at other coins that are under a dollar that they can get a ton of and hope that it blows up to make a lot of money. So that I just want to talk a little bit about the difference between a crypto platform and a cryptocurrency. Um, I don't think I've seen anybody, you know, kind of talk about this. I guess it would be an umbrella term kind of to be a cryptocurrency because I think everybody just accepts everything that is uh, crypto right now to just be a, a cryptocurrency, which I don't see as the case. So we're going to run down this list right now. Um, you can see, you know, basically the biggest difference is between a currency and a platform. The platforms are just services provided to you by the blockchain from a typically it's a company. So it's not like current cryptocurrency where it is decentralized, where there's no one figurehead who is in charge of everything. It, there is a figurehead who is in charge of everything, runs the platform and gives you a service and not something that you can send, you know, to buy something or receive something or take payment as. It's more like a company like, you know, Google, Apple, Facebook, you know, you would use these companies, their services that they provide, but they control it as well. There's nothing that you can do to have any control over it. Um, you know, like actual control. So Stellar. I think it's Stellar. I hope I'm not mixing that up with a different coin, but I think Stellar wants to provide this service where if say if you had a Bitcoin and something someone wanted Litecoin for something, you would be able to pay in Bitcoin for that Litecoin, but you would send it through Stellar and it would transfer it automatically into Litecoin. You wouldn't even have to worry about it or stress about it. You would literally just send your Bitcoin to that person and it would they would receive Litecoin. It would be simple like that. They would handle the headache or the big work of making that happen, making you know, you not have to transfer into Litecoin and then go and send it to them and deal with fees and stuff and just kind of deal with that headache. They try and take that away. Um, so it's more of a platform. You can still obviously buy Stellar. Um, to me, it's a little bit more confusing on why you would buy. It's more like buying into stock instead of buying into a cryptocurrency because it's a company someone's running that someone's running the show there's a reason why they want to do that and the biggest problem that i see with you know crypto platforms or how i see it um with coins like stellar and things that are running more off of of growing a community and a platform to do a service instead of that is if apple facebook and google like company i said before want to get involved in that and want to run their own stuff on the blockchain and 
have it be their thing, they can do that very easily. They can get a blockchain going and have them make a service. Someone could easily, I mean, Google could probably come in and super easily just do what Stellar's doing and Stellar would be irrelevant. Everyone would use Google's version. They would trust Google. You know, if Google had something where you could send Bitcoin to someone and it would turn into Litecoin if that's what that person wanted, I mean, why wouldn't people use that? So. That's the biggest problem I see with these types of platforms and people getting really excited about the price being so low. I just don't see a reason why you should be that excited. They aren't cryptocurrencies. They provide a service and they don't do what Bitcoin and Litecoin does. Um, I mean, like Bitcoin and Litecoin aren't the only uh, cryptocurrencies. I'm saying that word way too much in this video, but you know, I mean, you got Dash, Monero, um, Nano, you know, you have other coins that do their own thing and separate themselves from Bitcoin and Litecoin. And, but, you know, they are a currency. They would be, you know, in this cryptocurrency discussion, whereas Stellar, uh, District, uh, District OX, um, and one coin that I want to talk about that's kind of both that I am very interested in, I have a pretty big stake in would be Funfair. Um, basically, I mean, I love what they're doing. I love the team behind them. I think I'm going to do a whole video on Funfair themselves and try and, you know, just break down that type of stuff. But the like Funfair is doing a weird thing where they're kind of doing both a platform and a cryptocurrency, you know, mixed into they're like they're like a gambling coin. And we know the gambling market is huge. The betting market, it's all huge. So with them launching Funfair, and I don't think they're fully launched yet. So if you want to check them out, by all means, check them out. Do your own research and own due diligence, though. Do not just go off of anything that I say. Um, but they are, they're a really cool coin because they have their online casino that runs through Funfair and runs on Funfair, um, as well as, you know, Funfair is going to be something you can send to people to buy stuff. Um, if they want to do that. So it's kind of a weird weird one with that. I'm sure there's more like that um, Like I'd say the biggest one the biggest crypto platform I would say would be Ethereum because it's not really a Cryptocurrency, I mean it's not something where It's it's kind of separating itself into maybe another different type of like platform because Ethereum is basically a network that other coins run off of so that's another thing that you could have an issue with with a big company like Google, Apple, Facebook launching something where crypto coins can run off of. So letting, you know, if Google launched something where they said, we, we want these developers and creators of these coins to come to us, they run off the Google, I don't even know what they'd call it, that Google blockchain. And you can run off it for free and just come and use our blockchain you know i mean they can pump that they can advertise that they can make a big market because it's they're huge companies and kind of i don't want to say take over like ethereum would be kind of hard because it's like a staple and it has a lot of coins that run off it but i'm kind of staying away from that and want to talk about the platforms and things because like i said these big companies can just uh, is direct competition if they as soon as they launch their own uh, blockchain service is direct competition with these coins and I just don't think they stand a chance against a company with billions of dollars whereas these might be you know a small group of creators or founders that made a, a service on the blockchain and they wanted just to have fun with it but now they don't stand a chance because Google came in and just basically said step aside so there was there are these not rumors they're i mean gonna happen facebook announced that they're gonna do their own blockchain coin cryptocurrency coin but called like global coin um biggest the biggest thing that i see as a problem with that is facebook if it launches it would be mark zuckerberg and facebook would be the centralized figures and that completely defeats the purpose of what bitcoin and litecoin do which is run off the blockchain as decentralized currencies with nobody in charge. So that's the biggest thing about crypto. And we got to see how it all plays out with global coin. But if, you know, Mark Zuckerberg gives himself millions, kind of like the Ripple founder, 
um, then he would have all the power in the coin. Um, if he decides to launch a coin and be the figurehead and be like that central person, will he have say over it? You know, I mean, we see with Facebook and, you know, social media, people being blocked and being um, kicked off of the, the social media sites. So what's to say that if he's in control of global coin, if you have it, that he can say, you know, global coins not going to be allowed to buy, you know, this certain product or these this genre of products. So it's just a big problem I see with with launching global coin and launching these things with people who just think it's crypto and think there's a bunch of money in it. When the fact is people want people want Bitcoin and Litecoin and they want the decentralized nature of what crypto brings to you. So, guys, that is that's going to be it. Um, basically, just wanted to talk about you know how I see this type of stuff because I see a lot of people getting hyped about these coins that are under a dollar and thinking that they might have found the next big thing because they like what they read about a description of it or they like what you know founders and developers say on it. But I mean, the fact is, down in the long, in the short term, you might make money. You know, you might make some money, but in the short, in the long term, using those services are just going to be a lot harder to do with adoption of crypto and the blockchain with big companies just coming in and kicking them out basically which can't happen with bitcoin and litecoin because people want first of all want those coins there's a want from there's a demand to want and to to use them you know people want bitcoin and people use litecoin so they both have a very strong communities behind them to whereas you know a company can't just come in like facebook and launch their coin and just see it take off and just think it's going to take off especially if they do it not decentralized and they have a centralized hub it's just not going to work but that is going to be it for this video guys don't forget i'm going to i'm going to do a different type of outro this time actually i'm going to do something like hitch does i don't know why i just want to try it so but as always don't forget to comment rate subscribe i don't i don't really know how to do this but don't forget to comment rate subscribe love seeing all support really help the channel grow and we're going to change it up from, from this to just I'll see you guys in my next video.